Salam salam ninjas, welcome to my YouTube channel, Tech Utopia. My name is Mohamed, and let's test the Batman Begins on the Exynos version of the Samsung S8. This is OpenGL for the first uh, uh, test, and after that we're gonna try to test also the Vulcan, uh, of course Vulcan enabled Dolphin Emulator. Come on Batman Begins, come on. So you can see by itself that it's super laggy with the OpenGL here and Exynos version Mali G721. We're gonna start a new game. So in the menu we have 9, 10 FPS. Uh, anyway, my ninja, this is just for testing purposes. Have that in mind uh, that uh, uh, that I didn't promise you that this is super playable and you're gonna play it with the excellence version. Uh, if you want to play this game, buy Samsung S8 Snapdragon version because it's gonna be super smooth. OnePlus 3T play it super smooth and imagine with the Snapdragon 835, it should be even better, man. The intro itself runs around 60 FPS, even with OpenGL. Yeah. But, uh, like I said, it's uh, really difficult to get Snapdragon version of the Samsung S8 because it's only available in USA right now. So all suckers uh, in EU and other continents are just downgraded, man. We are downgraded. Fortunately, we are downgraded because uh, Samsung S6, believe me or not, a two-year-old uh, Samsung smartphone with a lower Exynos uh, chipset can run better than this one. With Mali T760, 7, 760, I think, uh, uh, was in Samsung S6. And that chip, that GPU is one of my favorite, favorite GPUs ever made, man. Mali T760. Okay, you can see thyself that the gameplay itself will be around the 2 FPS as soon as we get this thing here, Narrows Iceland. I don't want to waste your time, but this, this is just for testing purposes, just to show you how uh, bad this, uh, of course, uh, Exynos version is. Uh, people, Samsung people didn't work on it, they didn't provide you, they didn't work on drivers, the implementation, a lot of parameters are missing from the OpenGL 3.2, etc, etc. And as for the Vulcan, damn it, so... Let's go now, I'll just try to save this state here. You can see by itself, we can see now the people and it's gonna run like that. Even if I go right now into the gameplay, it's gonna just be around 2-3 FPS. Okay, let's go now back and let's test the Vulcan now. Vulcan should run it faster, FPS should be better there. Let's put the Vulcan. Okay, Batman begin. What is interesting that some some GameCube games will run better with the Mali. Yes, I noticed that. I tested the Mali and Snapdrag uh, and Reno and some few few games, not many many of them, but few games which is interesting do run better than on uh, Adreno. I don't know how, but somehow it's possible. But with the Vulcan, but that's what is messed up with the Vulcan and OpenGL. Uh, most of the games right now run only on OpenGL, man. Uh, let's go through the like you see by itself in the menu itself. It's around 60 FPS and Right now we have in the menu 30 FPS man, but everything is missing Sound is perfect, but these are the problems with the Mali G721 Drivers missing they didn't work on the drivers. They didn't work at all with this GPU and I don't know why because a lot of people even even with the Samsung S6, they started to uh, complain to uh, forums, to Armali, and etc, etc. Yeah, you can see now just the menu. Yeah, 30 FPS easily, man. 35 I can see there right now. The sound is great. Yeah, sound is great. So sorry for this, peeps. Uh, this is it. Uh, this is just for testing purposes to see the difference between OpenGL and Vulcan for Batman Begins uh, Exynos version of Samsung S8. For all we suckers, let's just go in the corners and cry like little babies. Ma